this video I'm going to take some more previous year gate problems from uh, the chapter power plant engineering let's take on the first question which of the following statements regarding a Rankine cycle with reheating are true first is increase in average temperature of heat addition yes it is true uh, because the heat is again added for reheating after partial expansion in the high pressure turbine and that increases the average temperature of heat addition reduction in thermal efficiency this is uh, wrong actually there is an increase in thermal efficiency because the average temperature of heat addition increases okay dryer dryer steam at the turbi turbine exit yes reheating actually increases the dryness fraction at the turbine exit see here uh, this is a rough TS diagram okay in case of no reheating this would have been the case but in case of reheating what happens what you see is that the dryness fraction increases and also basically the uh, reheating in Rankine cycle is you know provided to basically increase the dryness fraction its, it's first purpose is to increase the dryness fraction at the turbine exit okay so one and three are correct that means option C is correct okay uh, next question in a Rankine cycle the enthalpies at turbine entry at outlet and outlet sorry are uh, given as this respectively if the specific pump work specific pump work is 2 kilojoule per kilogram the specific steam consumption of the cycle based on net output is okay specific steam consumption is equal to 3600 upon work done work net this gives the answer in which uh, units kilogram per kilowatt hour and we have to fill the answer in kilogram per kilowatt hour so we can apply this formula directly that is 3600 upon work done, work net that is work done by turbine and work supplied to pump you know work done by turbine minus work supplied to pump work done by turbine will be the enthalpy change in the turbine that is enthalpy at turbine entries h1 let that be h1 at turbine outlet let that be h2 H1 is 3159 kilojoule per kilogram. H2 is 2187 kilojoule per kilogram. Specific pump work is 2 kilojoule per kilogram. Solve this, you will get your answer as 3.71 kilogram per kilowatt hour. Okay. Uh, next question. steam enters a turbine at 30 bar 300 degrees celsius some properties are given the specific internal energy and specific enthalpy is given and it exits the turbine again some properties are given pressure is given heat loss to the surrounding is 50 kilojoule per kilogram the keyword is loss that is you have to take q with a negative sign okay take care of the sign convention because if you take it with a positive sign the answer will vary and you will lose two marks okay heat loss to the surrounding is 50 kilojoule per kilogram take care of the units neglecting changes in kinetic energy and potential energy the work output of the turbine can I apply SFE yes I can apply SFE here using SFEE what is SFE H1 plus V1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus Q is equal to H2 plus V2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus W okay so I have to find work output of the turbine in kilojoule per kilogram okay do notice the units W 
neglecting changes changes in kinetic energy so this gets cancelled out neglecting changes in potential energy this also gets cancelled out Q is minus 50 kilojoule per kilogram H1 what's what what is H1 entry to the turbine that is 2993 kilojoule per kilogram H2 exit enthalpy that is 226 kilojoule per kilogram put these values solve them you will get work done is equal to 2717 kilojoule per kilogram okay next question these are very very basic questions you know yeah so let's take on the next question okay this is a very nice question it is a bit lengthy bit conceptual and it is a very nice question do try it yourself before seeing the solution okay so in a steam power plant operating on an ideal Rankine cycle superheated steam enters the turbine something uh, given something the pressure and temperature are given condenser pressure is 75 kilopascal the thermal efficiency of the cycle is okay some data is given for saturated liquid at this pressure and at p is equal to 3 megapascal some data is given for superheated steam okay so for ideal Rankine cycle construct the ideal Rankine cycle this is the ideal Rankine cycle okay one two three four okay the thermal efficiency of the cycle what is thermal efficiency the formula of thermal efficiency it is net work done upon heat supplied okay can you tell me what is heat supplied from this TS diagram it will be H1 minus H4 okay this will be the heat supplied in the boiler okay and what will be the network done network done will be the work done by turbine minus work supplied to pump what will be the work done by turbine work done by turbine will be h1 minus h2 okay this is the expansion taking place in turbine and what will be the work done by pump work done by pump sorry work supplied to pump what will be that that will be h4 minus h3 okay so work supplied to pump will be h4 minus h3 this will be the work supplied to pump okay so now we have to find h1 h2 h3 h4 basically we have to find all the enthalpies okay using this data what can i know about h1 for superheated steam h1 is given this will be h1 okay so h1 is 3115.3 okay great h1 is known what about h2 let's analyze the data at pressure 75 kilopascal okay can i write h2 is equal to hf plus x hfg at 75 kilopascal you know this equation so that implies h2 is equal to what is hf hf is yes hf is given 384.39 plus x what is hfg hfg is also given that is 2278.6 kilojoule per kilogram what you don't know is x dryness fraction so how you how can you find a dryness fraction i have solved this type of question in the previous video s1 is equal to s2 from this equation you can find dryness fraction how do you know s1 yes you know s1 this is s1 okay so s1 is 6.7428 what is s2 s2 you can write similarly s2 is equal to sf plus s x sfg okay what is sf sf for 75 kilopascal yes it is given okay that is 1.213 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin SFG is also given yes it is also given that is 
6.2434 okay s1 is equal to s2 you know now because it is an isentropic process in an ideal Rankine cycle so s1 is equal to s2 so this is 6.2434 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin can you find x yes you can find x x is equal to uh, when you'll solve it, it will come out to be 0 0.8857 yeah okay put x here what you'll get you'll get h2 great so now h2 is equal to 2402.546 great now we know h1 we know s2 how what about h3 and h4 do you know s3 yes you know s3 s3 is uh it should be hf at 75 kilopascal so this is h3 what about h4 h4 is equal to h3 plus work supplied to pump that is vdp nice this is nice so h4 will be h3 plus work supplied to pump that will be vdp in this case okay so h4 is equal to 384.39 plus yes vf is given that is 0 0.0010370 meter cube per kg dp pressure change that is 3000 kilopascal okay because 75 kilopascal is given take care of the units that will be 387.43 so now you know everything h1 h2 h3 h4 what you have to do <coughs> you have to put all the values here get your answer as 26.01 percent they have asked the answer in percent okay it was a nice question and uh, you can encounter these type of questions again in the upcoming gate examination okay. next problem Consider a simple gas turbine cycle, Burton cycle, and a gas turbine cycle with perfect regeneration. Okay. Keyword perfect regeneration. In both the cycles, the pressure ratio is 6. Let me write RP is equal to 6. Ratio of specific heats of the working medium is 1.4, that is, gamma is 1.4. Ratio of minimum to maximum temperature is 0 0.3. Okay. So, minimum temperature is where? it's T1 in the Brayton cycle and maximum temperature is T3 after the heat addition so T1 by T3 is 0 0.3 okay this we know so uh, with the temperatures expressed in Kelvin yes in the regenerative cycle the ratio of the thermal efficiency of the simple cycle to that of the regenerative cycle direct formula based question this is okay so what will be the thermal efficiency of a simple cycle without regeneration that is 1 minus 1 upon rp raised to power gamma minus 1 direct formula based questions have been given in gate 0 0.4066 this will be uh, the thermal efficiency without regeneration thermal efficiency of the simple cycle what will be the thermal efficiency of regenerative cycle again you have studied this formula 1 minus t minimum upon t maximum rp raised to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma t minimum upon t maximum is 0 0.3 rp is 6 gamma is 1.4 this will be 0.4 gamma minus 1 so all this efficiency will be of the regenerative cycle efficiency will be 0 0.49945 divide these get the answer as 0 0.802 the ratio pretty simple question this was okay. direct formula based question steam at an initial enthalpy of 100 kilojoule per kilogram and in inlet velocity of 100 meter per second okay I've already told you that when you see this kind of data enthalpy is given velocity is given what should strike to your mind SFE okay now see whether you can apply SFE or not by reading the whole question enters an insulated horizontal nozzle is given 
it leaves the nozzle at 200 meter per second the exit enthalpy in kilojoule per kilogram is okay yes you can apply SFE so what is SFEE -E? H1 plus V1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus Q is equal to H2 plus V2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus W it is a nozzle work done is 0 insulated horizontal nozzle Q becomes 0 there will be no change in potential energy also okay what will be H1 H1 is 100 kilojoule per kilogram okay so you have to change this in joule this is an important point because the velocity here is in meter per second I've discussed this point earlier also so this will be 100 square by 2 V2 square by 2 this will be 200 square by 2 and what you have to find yeah S2 you have to find okay solve this you will get H in joule per kilogram I'm directly writing the answer in kilojoule per kilogram that will be 85 kilojoule per kilogram okay do remember to write this in joule per kilogram okay next question in a three-stage air compressor the inlet pressure is P1 discharge pressure is P4 and the intermediate pressures are P2 and P3 where P2 is uh, less than P3 okay the total pressure ratio of the compressor is 10 and the pressure ratios of the stages are equal right. this is the key line okay the pressure ratios of the stages are equal if P1 is 100 kilopascal the value of the pressure P3 in kilopascal is so P4 by P1 is 10 yes the total pressure ratio of the compressor is 10 this is given now can I write this P4 by P1 as P4 by P3 into P3 by P2 into P2 by P1 yes I can write this because this P2 will get cancelled out this P3 will get cancelled out eventually it will be P4 by P1 this is equal to 10 what is this this is RP what is this this is again pressure ratio and what is this it's again pressure ratio because the pressure ratio of the stages are equal so let this be RP this will also be RP this will also be RP so that implies RP cube is equal to 10 pressure ratio RP will be 10 raised by 1 by 3 okay now what you have to find you have to find the value of pressure P3 okay can I write P2 is equal to RP P1 yes because RP is equal to P2 by P1 so taking P1 here P2 is equal to RP P1 and P3 is equal to RP P2 similarly similarly P3 is equal to RP P2 okay put this P2 here that implies P3 is equal to RP square P1 P1 is given as 100 kilopascal so that implies P3 is equal to RP square that is 10 raised to the power 2 by 3 this is P1 okay this is P1 so P1 P1 is 100 kilopascal solve this you will get P3 is equal to 464.16 kilopascal this will be the value of P3 this was uh, all from power plant engineering.